Hey everyone, I wanted to quickly show you guys uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S has been released. Uh, it comes in two varieties. It's got 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte. Comes in this uh, what they call is like a bronze color, and the other one's the white. So this actually is the bronze color. So we'll take a quick look. As you can see now, it's got the 1.9 quad-core processor. Uh, this is the new one. It's got the Super AMOLED screen. We're going to see how good it is compared to the standard LCD type that they've been having around. Uh, this is a little bit bigger. As you can see, it's 10.5. Uh, all the other tablets have been 10.1. And Samsung's kind of going, I think they're kind of getting on the bigger type screens, which in a way is kind of good. But this is kind of kept really small. So I'll show you guys that as well. So it's bigger screen but uh, the device itself is not much bigger and not much heavier than the Note 10.1 that's available now and also for the screen size it is the lightest tablet out there compared uh, the iPad, iPad Air is lighter but again that is a smaller screen tablet so overall this is much lighter for its size 8 megapixel uh, autofocus rear camera 2.1 2 mega, 2 megapixel front facing camera does HD uh, video playback and full HD 1080p recording it's got all the basic white charm infrared uh, 3 gigabytes of RAM so uh, 7900 milliamp battery so let's take a quick look I've already went ahead and uh, kind of set this up it's got a, it tells you it's the height is 0.259 inches that is very thin as you can see there and I'll show you guys quickly here so let's uh, now they've got a nice little cloth wrapping here which is very nice as you can see here uh, they've done a nice job of uh, trying to little keep it a little bit up a um, little bit on the like elegant side inside the box again not much to see in here quick start guide uh, and then you get your health and safety warranty little booklet so I'm not gonna go through there it's the same thing that we've seen in other ones again I uh, wish they would just kind of put if you purchase a black uh, or get the black version or any other color I li would like to see this back in the black color and you get the white cable the white cable again gets pretty dirty pretty easily so again and this one as you can see it's only got the micro USB it does not have the 3.0 like uh, the note series is available now or on the note uh, 3 as well so I'll set this aside let's pull this I went ahead and just uh, set this up so we, we don't have to go through the whole uh, setting setting up process here and let's quickly take a look at this um, overall I know probably in the video is not showing but this has a remarkable uh, display this is very nice uh, it's very very clear the colors are really rich um, you can't really probably tell by looking at it here but these are boy the, um, if you had it in front of you the only way I guess I can say is if you got a chance to go to your local store and check the screen out is that's the best way to do it so again let's take a quick look around here it's got that bronze color now on the whole rim here which is nice and it's been uh, the accent color frame here is kind of like a gold color bronze so that's why that bronze color here comes into play you can see here it's got a nice little detail with the bronze around the home key there which also is now a fingerprint sensor so you can swipe down when you have a lock once you set that up now you've got your uh, quick menu return here so you can see what all your apps that are available so you get a quick no more uh, menu key belongs now this is your back key as you walk all the way around here as you can see the edges here uh, they've actually slimmed this down very nicely so you still can hold this very very comfortably as you can see here uh, without going it's a little bit on the harder side for me trying to go sideways here but if you were to hold this like this you still have enough uh, to hold this with your thumbs up here and keeping maybe this angle on the on your palm there I kind of hold these like this or if I was uh, holding it sideways this is another way I would just hold it uh, up uh, in portrait mode again very nice it's got you know enough room here where you can hold it with your thumb like this in portrait mode 
So let's switch back here. Let's do a quick run. Up at here in the top, you see more spacing. It's got the Samsung logo here in the top, and your sensor here in the left, and your front 2.1 megapixel camera facing. Oops, sorry guys there. And then on the side here, we'll do on the bottom really quickly, as I mentioned to you guys. It's got the nice uh, bronze titanium kind of looking color. Uh, it's got one little, I believe that's a little microphone here on the bottom, as you can see. As you swing around, you can see how it's got, uh, hopefully that video can, how it's nice and tapered here. It's, it's got a nice little edge uh, roundness here. And you can kind of see how it kind of rounds off here and then it rounds back down here. So in other words, when you're probably, when you're actually holding this from the corners or even from the edge, it doesn't feel like it's carving into your hand or anything because it feels actually very smooth because it's got this uh, angle here, comes kind of goes straight and then it's got another kind of slight angle here in the bottom. Uh, the finish there so up on the right hand side it's got there your micro USB uh, port here to charge it uh, your your little uh, micro SD card slot here it's now available at uh, you can now put reads up to 128 gigabytes I believe on even on the other ones that were claiming like the note top uh, pro uh, claim only 64 gigabytes but I've heard some be able to put 120 gigabyte cards here on the right hand side you can see the sp speaker grill very nice it very complements uh, the finish here it's got the same color that kind of bronze color up here in the top as you can see it continues and as you come up here to your top infrared blaster so you can use this to use control your TVs remote and other various equipment you have for your entertainment very nice of so that part in case you just happen to have this and you don't want to uh, get your remote uh, as we continue here it's got your volume control uh, that's your raise your uh, upper volume down volume here on this side and your power uh, button here on and off here very nice so as we move around the left hand side you see your port for your uh, 3.5 millimeter jack head jack here for your headphones and here you see the left side speaker here the little grill very nice again and overall is nice and clean there's nothing here on the left hand side and again like I said nothing on the bottom let's switch this to the back uh, here it gets a little interesting as you can see here it's got the nice uh, kind of it's actually a nice plastic uh, feel to it is exactly like your uh let me see if i can zoom in there and get the light in there get you guys it's the same as you expect on the s5 is the same thing you'll get here it's got that and it's very hard to describe unless you've already owned a s5 or actually handle one uh, this is it feels like a plastic as kind of like a plasticky rubber feel to it but it's very nice it complements this very nicely in the back and this has got like kind of like a titanium kind of color looking so that's why it's got the titanium uh, kind of name for this so as we work work our way down as you can see it's got on the bottom here uh, the proprietary uh, connectors here for your case I'll show you guys I'll do another review for the case uh, and show you guys how those work overall it's nice and clear in the back and as you can see the Sanson logo there is now is kind of like a I would say like kind of it looks goldish it looks kind of actually elegant as you can see hopefully the light catches it and here you have the 8 megapixel camera with a flash here LED flash in the rear very nice again uh, show you guys how thin that is uh, let's see if I can get a uh, maybe uh, show you guys oh I know what I can show you guys I'll show you compare it to the Galaxy Note uh, how much thicker the Note is still and compared to the the gap the taps s here hopefully that catches there what I'll do is I'll put this down here and and maybe I can lower this a little bit and you guys can see you know kind of the little bit on the give you an idea size wise here as you can see how much more my note is taller very 
very nice that this is very um, let me see if I can get that to focus for you guys uh, there you go uh, see how much higher and thicker that note is compared to the Galaxy Tab S very nice again uh, as you can see that display is a little bit um, you can kind of see that it's not so black like the display here when it's off on the note you can see kind of it's black and this one's got a different color to it even when it's off but that's because it's got the super AMOLED screen so now let's take a quick look uh, let's go ahead and um, I'll just open it up as you can see look at these colors are very rich it's very quick and responsive everything is very fluid on this it's it's if you guys the managed to get your hands on one of these you guys will actually see how much uh, how much this is uh, much better in the display let me go ahead and uh, well, let me open up a web page here I will just do it's still I haven't set up everything but it's still loading up things as you can see that's why it's got some pause to it but it's still downloading uh, as you can see up in the top the uh, applications I was trying to do this so it can continue and finish all the loading of the applications so that way uh, it won't interfere with this uh, let me see what did I do here I must have tapped the back key and again this has got the new handcom software so if you're if you're the type that uses uh, Word, Excel uh, this is going to be a very nice complement to that as you can have uh, purchase a keyboard and then you'll be able to use those uh, uh, office applications let's go see while well, that's other loading I was going to show you guys uh, let's go to uh, it's probably still loading I was gonna see if there was actually a Samsung folder here but it looks not but since I'm right here this count this does provide the remote PC software uh, that's you can try that that's part of the Samsung so you can connect this to control and be able to basically use this as if it was a computer if you were on the go and needed to access uh, computer files or things like this this uh, remote PC it's got the WebEx that comes with it it's got the new S voice included um, I don't see yet it's probably still I still probably have to go download that so I'll probably pause it and then but the meantime it's still downloading let me see if this uh, web browser is not pausing too much so here we go so if it's a little bit on the starter side, I gotta tell you it's not. Um, it's more because, as you can see, it's still downloading um, all my applications from the web and things. So let's uh, let's go to. Oops, uh, I think I just actually, uh, I think it was updating that browser. So let's go in. Well, this is okay. It's come back really quickly. Let me show you guys something real quick. Um, let's see if we can find a video here or actually we'll just go to YouTube uh, and then we'll just play a YouTube video and we'll use some let's go ahead here yeah you know I, I might pause this video so uh, let this um, kind of load up because as you can see here it's got that pause and I can tell you it does not it's not paused like that it is very fluid and very responsive but as it's downloading in the background uh, it just doesn't uh, give you the exact as you can see how clearly that is that, that looks very very clear another thing it has is that stereo speakers let me raise up the volume very very uh, very loud I'll play it again. All the colors are very deep. Uh, the blacks are very nice. Shadows come in perfectly. The yellows, oranges are reds are very clear in this. So again, this is very nice. Uh, the display is very good. Let me see if we can uh, find something else here. 
we we'll do full screen here here as you can see the volume is actually let me see about three quarters there so that looks very nice let me forward that oh that's just a game here so let, let's see if I official trailer oh here's a trailer so hopefully this is a very nice so you guys can take a look again for if you for Netflix video mo uh, watching this I can see this is going to be a nice device to be able to work on this I'll show you also the fonts are very super clear on this I'll raise up the volume I shall bestow a gift on the child you can hear the stereo on it very nice There is no stutter in it at all whatsoever. Everything is just playing fluidly at, at, at its best right here. I'll go ahead and just back out of this one. Maybe we can do is look for, uh, let me see if we can go back and search. Uh, we'll do um, 1080p HD videos. Let me see if I'm able to get this to play here. As long as your bandwidth is able to support the 1080 bandwidth. But here we go. This looks very, very clear and sharp. All the detail shows very clearly here. And the video might not. I'll go ahead and lower this down a little bit. And the video here might not show how clear that is. I can see, you know, every detail here. I can see the smoke coming up here looks very very nice very clear so if you guys are looking to see if we're wondering if this would actually work this actually works very nicely let's go see if we have uh, here's another one I'll go ahead and forward it that Actually, that does not look as good. So, uh, it showed that it was HD video, but that actually does not look um, clear. It actually, looks worse on that one. So, but you know, get, you get uh, hopefully that you get an idea. You might, like I said, have to probably go to the store and um, you know get get a feel for this, so that way you can see. Uh, here's a sample video that comes uh, already installed here. This actually. With this, you can actually see how clear it is. Here, you can, this actually this is the best video. If you guys uh, make sure you guys use that video to be able to check out the detail. So hopefully that actually works for you guys. Uh, here's a sound alive virtual 7.1. You probably can't hear that in the video, but it actually sounded. Look at that; is very clear here. It's unbelievably clear. And let's go to music. You can hear a change there. Voices, normal. So that's very nice. That 7.1 surround, even in a normal sounds very good. The stereo, but overall, it's very very clear. Everything looks clear here. Let me go, I'll go ahead and return back to the home screen. Let's go back to, let me see if I go, I'll close these out. And well, another thing that now with the keyboard, if you could control C, it's just like the keyboards or that like on your, oops, sorry, select all, you know, highlight. So it's basically this keyboard now is uh, it's working kind of like uh, the computer, like on your computer or Windows, uh, the, the, the new notes, I have this type of keyboard which I like because you can control paste uh, if you had anything like if you hit copy all copy this and you can kind of paste whatever you want you get all these keys as you can see as long as you hold the control key that's very nice uh, there's no I believe I don't believe I don't think the iPad does that yet quite yet uh, you have to um, basically hold up here in the top select and then paste so let's let me uh, I'll do um, 
let's just do this one while that's loading here uh, I'll show you guys here quickly even in portrait mode this is like very very light I mean you yeah, can't use kind of hard to describe it here but I can hold this with one hand and this can be a good ebook reader I know this is on the bigger side but again it's very thin they kept it small but what I wanted to show you guys was basically the fonts here let me see it's just going back to my other one let me go back here let that load up again the the speed of this right now is is because I've got my all my applications downloading it's kind of making this pause a little bit but it's nothing to do with the tablet at all but as you can see here um, all the fonts are very very crystal clear if you look at them you can you can read them very clearly even at this small um, format here let me close that one now and go back and then let me see if I can show you guys Come, let me compare and show you guys this is the note 10.1 and it's actually faster than the note 10.1 it seems like let me get um, this in here so you can kind of get an idea the size as you can see here the note 10.1 is just a tad shorter but as you can see you do get for the 10.5 inch it's not much that is much bigger as you see there I'll go ahead and put these together so you can see the size difference of how much bigger the not a much that new tab s is but it's worth the size because not only that you can see the thickness of the note 10.1 it's a much thicker and again the 10.1 is you know it was a it was a light version when it was out now it's uh you know new one comes out so this is the tab s that's lighter sure it does not have the stylus on this but uh, at this point uh, for getting the the light light weightness and the amoled screen uh, i would definitely probably consider getting one of these picking this up so it's, there you can guys see kind of get an idea on both of these let me see what i can do this is uh, let me open up the I'll do both on the same. Uh, he says, "Sure, I have. Uh, I think I have Google on this one too. Here we go, Chrome, and we'll do MSN as well. As you can see, the display. Maybe in the video, it might not show much, but the higher resolution on that tab is." Is much much clearer even on those small fonts there as you can see compared to uh, the fonts on the 1080 or the 10.1 a uh, note so it is much better much clearer these look a little bit on the note uh, pixelated a little bit as it gets smaller on this one is very very clear very fine the colors as you can see on the note um, they're good but uh, the colors on the and the tab is are much much better clearer and very nice so again this is uh the tab s uh galaxy if you guys are interested very nice device i'm really liking this device i'm probably thinking of probably hopefully maybe uh getting rid of my note 10.1 and picking up one of these myself one more thing before I forget, is, well not forget, but I know some like to check to see what the uh, testing is. I'm using, I'm going to use a benchmark here to test the, the speed and performance on the Tab S. As you can see, I had done already, I had run that test. I had already uh, ran this test on the Note 10.1. As you can see, it scored 28,850 on it. So I'll, I'll do a retest on this one as well. Let me flip this over, test it here. 
so we'll, we'll let this run both of these run together here so that you guys can get an idea you know the kind of not the difference but well actually yeah a little bit of oops hopefully i didn't push that button yes i did let me get back on the let me see if i can bring that back up here while that's testing out just kind of was you know wanted to see let's see the note seems to be that this note uh, after I've been testing the uh, tab S even though uh, the note 10.1 is fast but it seems like it's got that small lag that you know kind of makes me click the buttons twice so let's take a quick look hopefully uh, it does it very quick here maybe what I'll go ahead is I'll go ahead and pause this so it won't take up too much time or actually we're almost maybe we can wait a couple more minutes and let this go on but again like I mentioned to you guys if you guys are uh, looking for a nice tablet with the Super AMOLED screen uh, take a look at the Galaxy Tab S it also comes in an 8.4 inch screen size this is again is a 10.5 and you can see um, compared to the Note how much more you get you almost get uh, about half an inch more at the bottom here you can see uh, where I have them lined up and if you compare where it stops up at the top of the screen so that little extra does help especially when you're doing web browsing or actually using it for documents or writing any reports that you know every little inch or extra half inch does come in handy so you know you guys looking for that and keep want to keep it very minimal tab is very lightweight very minimal so that's very good here is doing uh let's doing about 46 frames per second 46 45 47 uh doing triangles at 88.0 894 89 so it's jumping around 49 it jumped to 49 frame seconds so let's uh much faster than the note 10.1 my note 10.1 is oh actually it's just jumped up so it's about doing about the same 48 uh, so they're all about the same there 45 so let's check a look where this device in it at 34 163 so it did much better but the note 3 as you can see uh, still does better the galaxy s5 is much faster still it's got the qualcomm 805 processor htc1 is way up there as you can see and let's take a look at the note as you can see here it, the performance is much faster on the note or the galaxy tab 7 so if you guys were wanting to see these performance uh hope this also helps uh, uh but you, i can tell you the this responsive i can tell right away this is much faster than my note even by that little bit i can see the difference so hope this helps thanks for watching